<clears throat> All right. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's a beautiful, sunny Wednesday. Sure is. It Thank is. you for having us. Absolutely. Well, I am so excited to introduce my friends, Talitha Height and Carrie Christian. I feel like, Talitha, I was trying to calculate this morning how long we've known each other. Like, Been I feel like it's almost 20 years, maybe. Gosh, like that I, we old. met before. It can't, it can't be that hard. Long. I don't know. I don't know. I, it might be. Mm -hmm. And so Talitha introduced me to Carrie a few years back and their wonderful organization that they work with, Families Forward Charlotte. So today we are thrilled to tell everybody about this fabulous organization. And before we get started, we need to wish Carrie a happy birthday. Oh, wow. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Now everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, I mean, you know what? We should celebrate our birthdays. It's the one mm -hmm. day we really get to celebrate ourselves, right? Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe you're you're spending your birthday with us. That's so nice. <laughs> no better way to do it, of course. Yeah. I'm happy to be with you. Yeah, well, we're really looking forward to telling everyone about Families Forward. So just to kick it off, kind of tell, tell us about it and how you guys got started with the organization. Well, uh, again, thank you for having us today. It's a pleasure to be with both of you. Um, Families Forward was founded in 2017, and our organization envisions a city free of children and their families living in poverty. And to achieve this, we partner with families who are living in poverty in Mecklenburg County specifically and provide individualized mentorship, educational opportunities, and essential support as we walk alongside each family on their journey to long-term stability and economic mobility. Um, the goals of our program are to increase social capital of the families that we serve. Um, that is who you know, the connections that you have in, in the community and um, surrounding you that help you to be more likely to succeed. Um, and our family success program is our largest program in our organization. We're serving around 50 families right now and have served over 100 in the past um, five, four and a half years of existence. Um, in that program, we walk with, alongside families and help them with individualized mentorship through a family liaison. So that is a volunteer mentor that they are partnered with. They work with them four to six hours a month to help them assess their situation, to walk them through a goal setting process. We're working with them on whatever goals they want to achieve for themselves. So we take that real meet you where you're at approach. Um, along with the family liaison mentorship, we also have educational workshops that we host each month to provide information on life skills that are important to the families that we serve. Um, we also, um, when we do these workshops, we bring in other organizations and resources in the community that serves as sort of a warm handoff to those organizations as well. So if they need additional mental health services, parenting, um, education, whatever it may be, um, they can get that through the workshops that we host throughout the year. And then finally, we do offer essential support. Um, and so that comes in the form of essentials baskets that we give out a few times a year. Those have toiletries, home goods, um, cleaning supplies in them. And we also provide limited financial support to help our families break through barriers to success, to success. So whether that's a deposit for housing, hotels, uh, a, a hotel stay while um, if they're homeless when they enter our program, um, certifications so that they can uh, advance at work or in, even get a job. Um, so it, we really use that um, funding in order to help them with whatever their specific family needs. That's a lot. You guys do so much, so much. Well, tell us a little bit about how you got started, how Families Forward got started, and how you both became connected with it. Um, I'll start. Um, I am the founder of Families Forward <laughs> and started the organization after feeling 
really frustrated that Charlotte's ranked 50 out of 50 in economic mobility. So that means if you are born poor here in Charlotte, you will most likely remain poor. I got some friends, Talitha included, and local moms together, and we started brainstorming what we could do to combat this statistic. And here we are today. Wow. Yeah. So, so like Carrie, Carrie pulled you on. She did. <laughs> Carrie and I are now fourth graders. We're in preschool together. So we've known each other probably close to 10 years, worked together um, some at the preschool. And then, you know, I kind of heard some rumors about what was going on. And then she came to me and said, I, you know, we'd like for you to be involved. And so I joined the board a little over four years ago and haven't have not left. Yeah. Well, because you're making a difference, right? You can't yeah. leave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How, how many volunteers do y'all have and how many board members do you have? I'm just curious. Um, currently, we have around 58 family liaison volunteers. Okay. Um, so those are those that work directly with our families. Um, mm -hmm. We also have many volunteers that have helped with other um, things throughout the year, whether it's weekend food packs, um, child watch, mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, and then for our board of directors, we currently have 10. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of people involved in such a great yeah. organization. That's great. Um, what can people expect when partnering with Families Forward? Um, so uh, our family partners can mm -hmm. expect to have wraparound support. So they join our program to make change in their lives um, for the ultimate benefit of their children. Um, we work with the parents in the home and um, or caregiver, and we're by their side supporting them as they work to accomplish their goals. They can trust us and they have someone always in their corner. Each family commits to working with their mentor and through that partnership, they gain that support system that many times lasts even after their time in the program's up. What I love about it is it's not just, you know, what can you guys give to a recipient of someone working with Families Forward, you're helping them become so self-sustaining, like teaching them how to make a budget and, you know, figuring out even things like how, you know, for them, the difficulty of possibly getting to work, you find a way for them to get to work. So that makes a huge difference that it's not just what can they expect on what they get, but what they learn for life skills. Thank you so much. Yes, our, our family partners are really hardworking people that want to make change. Um, and so the, the stuff that we give, the holiday support, the essentials baskets, things like that, um, the transportation help, all of that is a bonus where we really see the magic happen is with that volunteer um, and the family being connected together, building that relationship. And, and it's quite impressive, um, magical even what can happen when, um, when they have that support. And how do you guys get matched up with families? We accept referrals from local Title I elementary schools, ma mainly the social workers at those schools, um, the communities and schools organization, um, staff that are also at schools can refer to our program as well. We accept referrals from Charlotte Family Housing graduates, so those that are graduating their program and still could use that type of mentorship as they work towards ultimate stability. Um, a local shelter as well, and Promise Resource Network. So um, all of our referral partners know the families pretty well. Um, they act as that first line of vetting. They know that these are families that are a good fit for our specific program. That's great. Multiple resources. Mm -hmm. Definitely. How many, and I know you said you have um, 58 families, partners right now, but how many families can you handle at one time? Is it we're, ex we're excited to meet our goal to grow to over 70 families this program wow. year. So yes, we're, uh, we have another training session in January where um, family liaisons can learn all about um, the, the process and how to work with the family. We really support them throughout the year. So it's, uh, we train you, but then we are 
there with you every step of the way, giving you resources and, and helping you as you work with a family. Um, and so uh, we can take on as many as we have volunteers for. Um, and we're excited to, to exceed our goal, I believe we'll do it, of 70 families um, by hopefully January. Great. Wow. That really is great. That's incredible. So as far mm -hmm. as volunteers, what can people, what support can you use from volunteers? Um, so for our end, we need those family liaison mentors. Um, and that is the ultimate key to our success. We also have weekend food packs that we would, um, that we need packed throughout the year that we provide to local schools. Um, and we always could use volunteers to help with fundraising. Um, we have a Give Butter campaign going on right now that um, if anyone's interested in setting up, they can reach out to us. There's multiple ways. And that's what, before we started, I was just telling you guys, there's so much more I want to do manpower wise. I just don't have the hours to give. Mm -hmm. So when I can connect you with other people or collect things or just monetary donations, um, that can be my small touch right now. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's still, I mean, I'm sure that adds up, Jennifer. Give yourself a little bit more credit. <laughs> <laughs> You've been so great to us. We're oh. so thankful for that. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And we have holiday operations going on right now. So like that can tell you more about too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. So tell us what you're working on right now. So our goal is to collect holiday gifts for all 235 family members in our program. That includes all of the children. There's 165 children, as well as the adults. And our goal is that they will all get something from their wish list. So we have set up a couple sign up geniuses if anybody's interested in sponsoring a family member. And I believe you guys are going to post that link when we're done. So uh, we have a, a child's wish list. So these are the fun things, the toys and the games that they want. Then we have a child's um, essentials list. We want every child in the program to get some clothes, some new clothes, new tennis shoes, winter coat, new underwear, socks, pajamas, that kind of thing. And then we also have an adult wish list. We've asked all the adults in the program what they want. And some of them, you guys, they ask for socks. They ask for pots and pans or new sheets, you know? So sometimes it's just little things that we all might take for granted that we can just run to Target and get. Um, the other thing that we're looking for right now is volunteers to help us collect and distribute all of these gifts. We expect that we could receive uh, probably uh, up to 2,000 gifts, and we have a 10-day window to receive all of them and then turn around and get them to the families. So we're looking for actual uh, labor to help us with that um, massive job, and we have a, a sign-up genius for that that you guys are going to post for us as well. So yeah, that so is we'll keeping us very busy. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. I mean, I've been there for drop-offs and so forth, and it's, it's a lot to keep it all it organized, and yep. then the delivery, I can't even imagine the logistics behind all yeah. of that. We have it that's, down by now. That's yeah. Talitha's specialty. <laughs> wow. So with this sign-up genius, can you sign up for a whole family to give them gifts that way, or can you just give what you can? How does that breakdown work? You can sign up for a family. So each family is assigned a family number, right? One, two, three. So if you're interested in a whole family, you would have to go to all three lists and look for the same family number, but you can totally do that. Mm -hmm. Got it. That's great. And what's the deadline for people to, is it that December 11th cut off? Uh, it'll actually, so December, uh, yes. Well, there'll be a five day window when you can drop off from the 11th through, I think it's the 16th. And then the following weekend is when we'll distribute them. Oh, that's great. Okay. Yeah. We have time for people to do their shopping. <laughs> exactly. But this year, I mean, we, we published the list last week and this is the earliest by far that we've ever had been this organized because we're trying to make sure people have time to shop because, you know, we keep hearing all the rumors about the supply chain obstacles mm -hmm. this year. So we want to make sure people have the opportunity to get what they need early. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Jennifer, we should do that as a team. We should do. Absolutely. Yeah, that would be great. All five of us could bring all of our stuff to the office and then I could drop yeah. them off to you guys. Or even we could spend a few hours helping you guys put it all together. All yeah. of that. We would love all of that. 
Okay, well, we'll post the sign up genius and then we'll sign up. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Well, we always love to end these uh, chats on Wednesday mornings with things that we are grateful for. And I, I'm actually selfishly going to start because I was just <laughs> looking at the two of you and thinking, I'm just so grateful for the impact you've made on families in Charlotte and that I've had the opportunity to be a part of it. And I just believe so strongly in what you guys are doing. And I want everyone to know what, what wonderful women you are and what an org, wonderful organization Families Forward Charlotte is. Thank, Thank you, Jennifer. You. Thank you, Jennifer. We at Families Forward are so grateful for all of our volunteers, not just our financial donors and the people that you know donate and help out at the holidays, but also our liaisons, which are all volunteers we would not be able to support the families like we do without them. So we're just grateful for this amazing community and opportunities like these where we get to share our message. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie, what are you grateful for today? I am grateful for a very supportive board of directors, um, Talitha as our board chair. Uh, this organization would not be possible without all of the current board members and those of the past that help us got uh, that helped us to get started and really get off the ground. Um, we were a very working hands-on board of directors, all volunteer for the first three and a half, four years of the organization. Um, so I'm grateful to them and, and our staff who works so hard every day to, to make our mission possible. Yeah, that's great. great. Yeah, well, I'll piggyback off of it and just say I'm so thankful for the knowledge that you guys have provided, not me, but everyone watching today, because I live in my bubble in Charlotte, and I didn't even know a lot of what you just said. I really didn't. So thank you for sharing it. I'm, I'm grateful I know all of that now and hopefully can help in the future. Yeah. So we will certainly post the sign up geniuses and we'll um, post website to look at. Is there any other way people can get in touch with you to volunteer or learn more about Families Forward? I would say to go to our website, familiesforwardcharlotte.org. Um, you can find information there on volunteering, signing up for holiday information and our contact information as well. Um, or you can email Carrie, C-A-R-R-I-E, at familiesforwardclt.org. Okay. There's also a newsletter sign up on the website, and that's a great way to stay connected because we, you know, we send a newsletter once or twice a month and we'll, you know, have in there, hey, we're collecting holiday gifts or we have this volunteer opportunity. So that's a great way for the information to come to you into your inbox. I feel like I just got it this morning because you always <laughs> post success stories. There was a video of a recipient and just the change that you've made. And that's huge to be able to see that too. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And we post all of that on our Facebook page too. So you can always go and follow us and see what's going on. All right. Well, we'll put it all out there so people can find you at all avenues. Thank you. <laughs> Well, thank y'all so much for joining us this morning, and we can't wait to continue to help Families Forward uh, grow and help more families in our area. We thank appreciate you for that. the opportunity. Y'all right. have a good rest of the day. You too. Happy Bye. birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.